Hello world, Dr. Zhu here and today we are going to discuss and talk about that why are we complaining? So first of all, whoever is complaining, believe it or not, they don't know that they are complaining. This is such an automatic uh, behavior, uh, actually an addiction of a behavior which they don't know. It's automatically running in the body. So if you learned as a child from your parents that this was the only way people were talking around you and they were only talking about the negative things, what is not good, that they don't have things and they also start talking about what other people have and they don't have. That also the scarcity thinking is actually in your head uh, already. So that will make you to keep practicing this. So when you look at this uh, now, today, and if you want to know that you are complaining or not, uh, you will know very quickly why. Because you will notice it in other people. You will notice it's going to make you very upset and you're going to say, I don't understand why this person is complaining so much. He or she has so much and they are still complaining that they don't have. They're still complaining about what's bad opposed to what's good. So if you are this person, and you notice this in yourself, then you know that you are also doing it because these vibrations are attracting in others. You are not going to uh, notice it in your own self. Only you will notice it in the mirror when other people do it and it's going to make you uh, upset. So how can you start living uh, with gratitude? It's a very simple exercise actually because these uh, complaining uh, uh, nerve, uh, automatic nerve uh, functions in your body needs to be retrained and you can train it, you can retrain it because no matter how old you are, it's only a trick of your mind saying that you are too old to work on yourself and you will die like this, then you know what? You will if you believe that. But if you want to experience something else, you have a choice, you have a chance and there is a tool. So if you wake up in the morning and you just close your mouth and you are not going to say anything until you see something and you actually have to express thank you for that. So the very easiest thing is your breath. If you wake up in the morning and you are breathing, that means that you can say gratitude and you know what? You deserve to have gratitude in your life. You deserve to have things in your life. So start expressing it and you will see that physiological changes in your body, what will happen. And it's really, really a miracle. And you are really going to realize that everything and anything, how you feel inside, you are creating yourself. So this is a very easy exercise. So if you wake up in the morning, start counting at least five things, what you can say, uh, you can be grateful for and express it, say it. It's going to be difficult in the beginning because your ego doesn't want you to say that, but then it's going to be easier and easier. If there is nothing as you can say, is your breath is there, is the sky is blue, the sun is shining, or there is rain, there is some blessing, some form of something. You have food, you see the grass, there is anything, you have clothes, you start saying five things. Before you go to sleep, you see the same things. So you start developing the habit of practicing to be grateful and expressing it. So it's going to be easier and easier to express it and say it to other people. So instead of looking at other people and finding all the things you can complain about, you can actually start finding little things what you are thankful for, what you find, you open your eyes and you see in this person that, you know what, maybe this person have a disfigured leg, but they have a beautiful heart or they, are, they don't have hair, doesn't matter, but they have a beautiful smile, they have beautiful eyes and they mean well and they speak well and they are nice. Or maybe there is another person who is not so nice and you see, you know what, this is a chance for me to practice, uh, practice uh, patience and kindness and uh, sending love to this person because this person never knew what love was. So actually everything and anything is for you. Any difficult situation is for you because it's for you to practice. So it's nothing to complain about. As long as you breathe, you are here, you have a chance for something good today. So I encourage you, get out there, start breathing, stop, start uh, 
being grateful for each and every one of your breath and look at everything and anything through this gratitude and thank you. So I hope that I was able to give you some little bit of tips today because living with gratitude, your mind will tell you it's so stupid, it's so crazy, you are so busy, you cannot just do that because how can you do that while you are, have to go to school, you have to go to university, you have to go to work, the kids are there, you have to clean, you have to cook. Who has time for that? You know what? Stop right there and start saying thank you and thank you and thank you and especially for your breath because you have so much with that. So I encourage you, get out there, start your life like this and start your day like this and just close your mouth, don't speak until you can say thank you for something and live your entire day just like that. So thank you for listening, this was Dr. Zhu and if anything else you want to learn a little bit more, my Udemy courses will be helping you in that to get over your stress and to start making goals in your life and to start focus and start creating the life you deserve to have and to live your dreams. Thank you so much again. This was Dr. Zhu.